Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be modeling a mid-century modern coffee table in Revit. Let's get started. To start, let's open up a new family. Let's look for metric generic model. Let's create some reference plane. Let's put some dimensions. So this one, I want to set it as the length or the width. So table length. I want to do it as an instant. Press OK. And then I want to label this as table that and then let's create it as an instant let's go over here and let's set this as 600 and this one 1200 Let's create an extrusion. Click on the rectangle and then lock it in place. And then let's finish it. Let's go to our front elevation. I want to put another reference plane so that we could set our height click on the dimension and then label it as table height click instance and press ok now let's go to our family types and let's set the height as 460 click apply and then press ok let's check this extrusion and lock it in place and then we will need to create another reference plane this one let's set this one as 25 and then let's align this line with the extruded line and lock it in place. We should also lock this. And then now let's go back to our floor plan and create another extrusion. Select rectangle and then lock it again click finish and then let's go back to our front elevation let's add in another reference plane 
and then one more. So let's click this line and set this one as around 250. And this line 25. So now let's stretch the extruded, lock it, and then stretch this one as well, lock it, and then now let's add dimensions here, lock, and here as well, and locked it. So if ever you change the height, all of this will follow and you'll be consistent with the thickness. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a reference plane for this. So we added one, two, three, four extra reference plane so that we could set the thickness of this. So here I'm just going to select this line and set it to 25. I'm going to set this line to 25 as well. And then I'm going to select this and set this one to 12.5 and this one as well. So now we're going to create an extrusion. lock this and let's go to our floor plan and just stretch it and lock it we're gonna go back to our elevation and do it on the other side. And before we forget, we're going to lock this as well. And lastly, let's go back to our elevation and create this extrusion. to our reference level okay so now let's go to our 3d and then Let's try and 
flex. So let's just put some random numbers. Hit apply and everything is lining up and everything is flexing properly. So before we start creating the legs, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select everything and then add a parameter for the materials. So here I'm gonna put case finish and then press OK and then let's go to our front elevation and then go to create and let's start creating our legs. I'm gonna click a sketch pad and then I'm gonna use this. And then once I click this, I could select my pro first profile. But before that, let's go to our 3D and then select our first profile, edit. And here, I'm gonna choose 10 millimeters. And for the Profile 2, I'm going to do 25. Click Finish. And then let's look at it like that. And then let's go to our reference level. Let's move it. And let's angle it a little bit. I'm going to check it first. And then select it first and then let's put materials or let's set a parametric materials so this will be leg finish instant that's okay so now we just need to mirror. I'm just going to double check. And then mirror again. So there you have it. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.